What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Phil Shock, the United States Chess Jug, with our PSBA Week 1 match going against King, the commissioner of the league himself. Last time we faced King in this league, we won one. We won that we won versus him, made the playoffs. So we get to face off against him week one, and he actually brings about everything we expected, except it brings up Ulele over Token Tomorrow, which I will personally take. That is one less answer for both my Steel and Psychic Type and Dragon, which even though I already had handles for. But if you guys are excited for this week one battle, leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to join the Phil Shocker crew today because you'll be filling with the king of the crew. So let's go ahead and get into the matchup here for you guys. And yeah, if my voice sounds raspy and everything, I've been recording in quite a few, and I've been in some Discord calls with the Dark Devil Den, aka Brandon, aka Dark Devil 26's personal Discord server, which if you haven't already, go ahead and join today. Go check out my buddy Brandon at Dark Devil 26 on YouTube. So definitely go for that. So let's go ahead and get into this matchup here. I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with my volcano. He leads off with the, the burb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steam eruption here as I go for that. And he does get burned off a of flame orb, so he does immediately tell me that is, um, what's it? Immediately tells me that he's the he's the Marvel scale. And what turns out to me is he actually has speed on this thing, because I believe I was meant to outspeed zero speed Milotic. And if I, well, I, there could be a chance I didn't do that. But right here we go for the HP grass, see how much damage does. He scalds me for whatever reason. Do a nice clean 28%, which actually tells me he's a bit but death bulky. Because he actually had told me he was so scared of Spectre, which obviously he should if you look at his team. Like his only Spectre answer is a Spadef Milotic and a Crocodile, and that's about it. So I'm going to go into my Silver Bell here. I'm going to click Trick Room here. And here's where I come Canine. Here's where I wish I had kept Earth Power. This is where, I, unless I don't think it gets Earth Power. But if it does have Earth Power, this is where I wish I kind of had put Earth Power on here. I also partially wish I put Thunderbolt on this set. So if I can get Arcanine down to about 60-ish percent and he's not um, leftovers, at plus one with that then also, I can just basically knock him out. So I'm going to go into my Hula Mool here. I am just going to click Head and Power. Frat. No, I double under my Prisma here. And I know he's going to Toxic, but I'm going to Calm Mind right in front of his face. Right here, I wish I'd Photon Geysered instead of clicking Calm Mind a second time just to see the damage output. And, but the good news is he reset, he reveals this whole set to me, which means he's a mono skull, which means he can't really beat my Hula Mula. I'm just going to bolt here. I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice, predicting the Crocodile to come in. Crocodile does come in here. I'm going for the Hidden Power Ice, and that does a, not a lot of damage. Because what I've come to find out, he has pretty much max HP, max spadef. Lefty's Crocodile, which is very, very interesting to me because of the fact that also ignore the fact that my dog, my dogs, my cats are moving around. That's what they're doing in the background. But surprisingly enough, he brought a but spadef bulky crook, which I mean makes sense, but it I just don't understand it. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the interest again because why not? And he's gonna earthquake. I'm gonna live one. So. Now comes this point in time. He either sacks off Crocodile to me. Either sacks off Crocodile to me. And I kill it. Or I can click Thunderbolt and get and chip something for some really good damage. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, just click hit up our eyes. Well, here's the thing. He still can save Crook. Because if he keeps Crook relatively healthy, Spectre... If it can get into a position to a KO, it can do it. But if it doesn't, and I don't feel like it's comfortable enough to get to a KO, then Spectreer cannot kill this thing. And he knows it. He can keep Crook in the back. <sighs> Excuse me. If he can keep Crook in the back, Crook can honestly still beat Spectreer potentially. So it came down to a 50-50 that lasted for about 10 minutes or so for me as well because it did take a long time for King. So I ultimately decided to click Thunderbolt and the pet, the, the bet pays off. I click Thunderbolt and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sack off my bolt. It did a good job and now I just bring Spectre Rear and I get to claim a KO. For some reason, he thought I was not going to click Shadow Ball. For some whatever reason, he never thought I was going to click Shadow Ball, which I don't even understand why you don't think I click Shadow Ball. I'm just going to click. 
I'm just going to click Shadow Ball. So, in comes the Milotic, which is Spadef Bulky. I'm going to go for the um, Shadow Ball, which he's actually going to go for Haze. Fun fact, I did not know Haze could get rid of your own stats. I did not know that. So, that's very nice to know. I am just going to click Shadow Ball again. There's no reason to, and... That does 18%, but with the leftovers, he's actually proved that that max HP and stuff, and that means I could not risk going for a second Shadow Ball to knock him out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go into my Hula Mula, get rid of my leftovers, and right here, I'm just going to click Hidden Fire Grass. There is no downside to clicking Hidden Fire Grass right here. So now I'm in a position right now. I can Hidden Fire Grass this thing again, or what I can actually do is pull a double and go into Bridgy Draco here. Or even to my Silver Bells, to where I can go for Trick Room, potentially sack this off, go into my Necrozma, and then set up a Calm Mind or two, and then start punching things hard. So, I'm going to go right into my Radiant Drago, predicting the recovery right there, and give me your energy, or in this case, Big Dragon Energy is going to come off here, and knock out the Milotic, which is really, really huge. In comes Skullipede, I'm going to go for the energy, and he actually reveals to be Scarf. A scarf sash um sash gullipede which is a little surprising but makes a lot of sense but right here i'm gonna save my rigid dracos he's gonna mega horn me here and by that damage he actually reveals to be jolly not adam and scolipede which is very very good but i make a big massive misplay here and this actually cost me a differential to with points which at the current moment's not gonna matter but late game could matter for some of those people that are going to try to be playing for differential and stuff like that. So basically, for some whatever reason, I didn't check on what item the Scolipede had. And I also was not paying attention to the nature of the Scolipede. I forgot he used up his sash and I was calculating a set to head life orb on it. And I felt like I instantly lose. So I basically sacrificed my Necrozma for no reason. I mean, if he missed, I would have knocked him out. But I'm going to Magirna here, and I actually live the Earthquake. And I knocked that thing out with Flash Cannon. I'm so mad at myself that I did that, by the way. I'm so mad at myself I did that. If I... I just really wish I could take that turn back. I really wish I could take that turn back. And I would have gone hard Magirna. In either Trick Room or Sack Magirna and go from there. But I'm going to say I went for the Z move in case there. But now you see I have to sacrifice Magirna now. But Big Dragon Energy is coming in. I'm clicking Big Dragon Energy. That crit did not matter unless he was max HP. And he actually reveals to be the choice banded set on that um, Zapdos like I did predict him to be. I did predict him to be choice banded over choice guard. Just the fact that my team is relatively a little bit slower on the soul side, and I felt like he was going to take no chances and wanted to hit me hard. But Reggie Draco, baby, coming in, clicking Dragon Energy, and big boy Reggie Draco proving his worth. And we pick up four KOs with Reggie Draco, baby. Would have been five on the skull beat if it wasn't Sash, which which technically means Reggie Draco was sweet. But Reggie Draco goes on the kill leaderboard now, baby. And I'm actually really happy. I was really happy to uh, use Reggie Draco here. And that's the thing with Reggie Draco, guys. If you can get rid of those fairies or weaken down fairies to a certain degree, things like Reggie Draco just go in and just click a button. It's just really, really, really good. I've actually really enjoyed using Reggie Draco just in this first week. So I'm really hoping to be able to use him more. Going into the future of the rest of the weeks, we have a total of, I believe, nine weeks. We have eight more weeks to go with Reggie Draco. And this is kind of going to want me to draft him more because I just think he's really, really fun. I think he's really good. But that's going to be our week one matchup. We go to, we do cost ourselves potentially two differential points, maybe at least one. We could have won this at least 3 0. Maybe 4 0 if I would have played some shenanigans, but I think guaranteed we could have won it 3 0 if I had played smarter. But. It is what it is. You can't win them all, all the times with the, the stuff. But Spectrear, which I think he op didn't even prep that much for Dragon Energy. Spectrear pretty much staying at full capacity. Picks up at least one kill. But yeah. But that's going to be it for this, guys. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Tune in for next week. I don't know who we're facing next week. I have to prep for that. And I was actually supposed to prep for that today. So anyways. But anyways, that's it for this, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm Phil Shocker. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.